Good morning. My name is Mary McCoy Thompson, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Dovetail Learning. And today I'm here to talk about We Are Resilient. So these are practical skills for lifelong wellness. And I have to say, I'm really happy to be here with the OER community. We've, I've been following you for several years and um, our previous work was in copyrighted work. And um, I helped convince our whole team that the world we wanna um, make is the world we have to be. And so we've moved all of our work into open educational resources. So this is the first time we're presenting to the OER community. So um, anyway, I'm just delighted to be here. Our mission is to strengthen resilience in adults and children, and our vision is a world of kind, connected human beings. So we see resilience as an ordinary superpower. It does not come from rare and special qualities, but from the everyday magic of being human. And um, we started this work in resilience about 10 years ago, and our product at that time was really focused on children and how to give children the tools that they need to be successful, these kind of soft skills. And through that work, we really learned that um, it can't work if the teachers um, don't have the skills. We noticed that faculty and staff were burned out, they had compassion fatigue, a lot of vicarious trauma from all the people that they, all the issues that the children were having it. And the real issue was that they needed to learn the skills before they could teach them. I realize my slide is backwards. <laughs> but anyway, they really needed to own the skills themselves before they could teach it. So that we really had to focus on the adult community before we could help the children that they were trying to teach. And they, we also discovered that when they were trying to refer children out to more successful, more other kinds of programs, it wasn't really successful. So um, we really leaned into this need of universal mental health promotion. We realized there were very few resources for adult social emotional learning or promotion of mental health wellness as opposed to mental health intervention and sort of fixing the problem of mental health. How, how can people develop the skills that they need to be healthy themselves, just all of us? And we also saw that this, there was a need for the whole community to have this, educators, healthcare providers, families, businesses. If children were gonna get the skills that they need, the whole community had to have the skills themselves. And we realized that that could only happen if it was an open educational resource, that all these people were developing these small copyrighted programs and that was not available to so many people. So um, we leaned into that need and we developed the We Are Resilient approach. So what is this approach? It focuses on our strengths and it helps that we start with noticing what's hold us, holding us back from choosing resilience. And we call that the cultural and protective patterns. I'll talk about that more in a minute. And then it helps us choose resilient skills to center ourselves, to connect with others and to collaborate together. So we have our skills in those three different buckets. We talk about the practice model coach method, and we promote resilience mindsets of curiosity, choice, and commitment. So this is our just our overview of our quick overview of the model. So we have cultural resilience and reactive resilience. We have, and then we have these skills, the centering skills, the connecting skills, and the collaborating skills. We really want to make this easy, accessible, the cultural patterns and our cultural resilience is how we view the world. So it's all the things we learn from our families, our communities, our religion, our ethnicity, our gender expression. Our protective patterns are how we react to the world. It's whether we are attacking or defensive when things happen to us, whether we try to avoid problems or learn into it. And once we start noticing these problems, we can more easily lean, learn, lean into our skills. The skills are how we create our world, whether we use centering skills, connecting skills, or collaborating skills, it's how we create the world we want. And so we believe by teaching these people to notice our patterns and to focus and practice our skills, we can all together create the world that we want. We also talk about the resilience mindsets of curiosity, choice, and commitment that help us learn how to be the people that we want to be. As we talked about practicing to become more proficient, we model so others can learn from us. And that doesn't mean being perfect. That means showing people our mistakes and, and having people learn from our mistakes and the things that we do as much as the things that we do right. And also coaching. So others can learn to use curiosity, inquiry, and 
the encouragement. That's how we coach, not by telling people to do things, but by walking them through the process of how it can work. So what? how does We Are Resilient help your school or university? We learn practical science-based resilience skills to mitigate our own stress and trauma. It enables us to coach students and families in resilience skills. It facilitates team building, collaboration, and support and it incorporates trauma-informed care and cultural humility for all. We believe that this is not just true for schools and universities. We're also teaching in medical clinics and hospitals and businesses. We are resilient products and resources. We have digital resources that are free and adaptable for all, and we have online support videos. We also have physical products that you can purchase. Sometimes people prefer a physical copy. We do all sorts of training, coaching, and consulting in that. A lot of that is paid, but there's a generous lighting scale and scholarships available. If you go onto our website and sign up for a circle and just send an email and saying, can I have this for free? The answer is pretty much yes. What do we need from you? Well, we're looking for partners. We can't do this alone. We're a small organization. And the whole reason we decided to do OER is because we understand the power of partnerships. We want adaptations of this into local context. How can you take our materials and make them work for you and what you're doing? Of course, we need translations. There's a huge need for people to just have this material in their own language, spread the word. And of course, just join our newsletter to find out what we're doing and how it works. How do you, can you bring We Are Resilient to your group? obviously go to our website. We have lots of information. I'm happy to talk to anyone. Um, and we also have a business development person, Christy at Dovetail Learning, and she's also happy to work with you. So I hope you've enjoyed learning about We Are Resilient, and I'd love to follow up with conversations from anybody who has any other questions. So thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. A quick question from me. What license are on the OER that you're sharing? So it's um, 4.0, I think it says so at the bottom here. That, that would be the version of the license. Are you sharing under the, the attribution? Oh, sorry, sorry, sure. yeah, it's, um, yeah, isn't it, um, can't you see it, it says. Um, the BISA license? Yeah, exactly. Okay, great. Yeah, completely oh. sharing, yeah. Excellent, uh, the floor is open for questions. We have two minutes. Yeah, you asked. You mentioned the license. We, um, you know, we. That's why we've been following the OER community so deeply. It's like, what's the best license for this material? And um, we decided we're not going to put. You know, you can't um, no derivatives. We're going to let people do whatever they need to because that's the only way we can really get out into the world. So I want to thank all the OER people that I've been following on on your platforms for teaching me how these licenses work and the best one to choose, and um, that we just feel confident that's the right one.